Here in the stunning setting of Inverclyde, 6274 Public Art has been involved in a number of projects. These include Port Glasgow in Bloom, in which we worked with a number of local youngsters, our holiday club, to produce fantastic paintings of flowers, which were then translated into a giant 20 metre long banner, and as well as some window graphics using our window poster material in Port Glasgow Library. We've also been involved with two underpass projects in the town. On one of them, we worked with the paintings of William Doby, the official artist of the Tall Ships Race, and printed images of his work directly onto the panels. The second underpass project we've been involved with was a restoration project. There was an underpass that had been in place in Greenock since the early 70s, which was now looking very tired, graffitied with many broken tiles. We were tasked with taking a photographic record of the underpass and then producing a completely restored version. We then fired this using our full colour tiling technique which is guaranteed for years to come. Riverside in Verclyde have also been responsible for bringing two large sculptures to the town. One of these, Ginger the Horse, is located just in front of the police station on the main A8 route. We were tasked with welcoming Ginger, so we worked with two local schools to produce large horse images to wrap around the building site during the construction process. As part of the workshops with the children, we also taught them how to animate, and they had a great time when they saw their artwork reproduced on these vast Harris fencing panels. Thank you.